<clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the next National Soccer Coaches Association of Canada Behind the Bench webinar. We're trying to uh, keep things going with uh, with our objective, which from the start was was to help to provide uh, the highest quality information that we can to to coaches from across Ontario, across Canada, uh, and and uh, anyone who else is tuning in internationally, uh, to help to uh, provide a little bit more education, coach development, and and, and help help. Uh, everybody to become a little bit better in, in, in what they do uh, with the players that they work with. So we're going to leave a, a few more minutes now just to let the room fill up. Looks like we got right now over 30 already inside. So welcome everybody. And uh, we'll go, uh, we'll leave it maybe one, one more minute or so. And then we will, we will get started with, uh, with the topic for today, which should be an interesting one for, for all of you. Performance analysis for high performance coaches. <clears throat> Emmanuel, I just sent a quick chat so, and he said, help all. And I, I'm sure he meant hello all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we don't, we don't, we hopefully we don't need any help yet. Okay. We'll give it just another, another 30 seconds or so. And, uh, and then we will get started. Farzad, you're good audio and video, right? All good? Yes. If you can hear me, we're good to go. Yeah. And you can hear me, see me, or Awesome. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, that's enough time. Uh, just to allow uh, again, allow the room to uh, to fill up. I see one little chat here before we go. Fantastic that we do have some guests from uh, from around the world. We've even got some from Italy. So hello and welcome to everybody. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so again, welcome. And I will uh, just kick things off by introducing our, uh, our, our featured panelist today, who is a, a very good friend of mine and, and, and a colleague. And, and um, I can say literally, we've, we've been around the world together, uh, uh, working and presenting research and, and and uh, having a little bit of spare time to enjoy uh, all these different countries and cultures that we visited as well. Uh, Farzad Yousafian, uh, who is a sports scientist and the founder of Sport Performance Analytics Inc. And uh, uh, the two of us today will be discussing this topic, performance analysis for high performance coaches. So I'll start, uh, welcome Farzad. And if you can just maybe get us started, tell us a little bit about your, your background uh, in football. Uh, a little bit about your educational and academic background and, uh, you know, how, how did you get into the work that you're doing now and, and, and what are you doing now? <laughs> sure. First of all, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here and working with you as always and we're continuing our uh, work together. Uh, and thank you to the NSCIC for this uh, great opportunity. Um, essentially, my background, well, I've played <laughs> soccer my whole life and I came up through the whole <laughs> Markham and Unionville uh, system. Um, and so my, initially my, I had my, uh, master's in molecular genetics from the University of Toronto. Um, and back then, essentially this whole idea of science and soccer wasn't much of a reality or accessible to myself. Uh, so after graduating, I lectured for four years in the hardcore sciences. But during that time, the 2007, uh, U20 World Cup was hosted in Canada. And so... By volunteering there, I was immersing myself into the background of a uh, major tournament. And so there I met my mentor, Dr. Uh, Rudy Gittens, and um, essentially that's kicked off this passion for medicine and football. And he's the chief medical officer for FIFA at the time, and uh, uh, getting insight into how things work. And essentially my passion started with doping control. Uh, and understanding this whole effect of uh, drugs and performance enhancing drugs on performance. Um, but then my focus kind of shifted after attending all these international conferences, networking and speaking to people. And in 2012, I dropped everything, 
went to Liverpool John Moores University, where I completed my master's in sport and exercise physiology. And having gone to Europe, essentially established relationships with prominent scientists in uh, the field of science and uh, soccer. And then in 2014, I came back to Canada, immersed myself into working with um, various teams. Um, and then in 2016, I noticed that there was really a gap or a void in the systems technology approach of uh, scientific analysis in our sport. And so I created sport performance analytics to, to essentially continue doing my own uh, work and my passion and offering these services to teams within our environment, which is primarily uh, amateur and semi-professional. Um, and so to bridge that gap and to make it more accessible for these teams, uh, uh, for example, GPS tracking technology or video match analysis or science-based strength and conditioning. Um, and so over the past year, I've kind of changed focus um, and working with a, a close uh, colleague of mine, Abdul Zafar, who also works with me at uh, Sport Performance Analytics, we've really put our work into developing a, a specific software called iScout. Uh, and anybody who's interested can look at our website. But essentially, now I'm working one foot in Europe, one foot in Canada, and developing the software and conducting research with various professional clubs and federations and in Portugal, Sweden, Denmark, uh, the U.S., and obviously uh, some work in Canada. Great. Okay, so uh, a, a very a diverse background, right? Uh, with with the, originally in the hard sciences and cellular and molecular physiology, and now transitioning into you know performance analysis specific to soccer. So. Uh, I think I know we've talked a lot before about this concept of you know that, that there's clearly a gap. I mean, there's a gap in in coach education with regards to performance analysis, and and I think that maybe a lot of times uh, it's quite common for 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 Canadian coaches or North American coaches to to maybe look at and, and see some of the things that they see uh, what's happening in, in Europe in the Champions League or in the World Cups and all that and. Uh, you know, and, and, and try to make sense of all that different information that's being collected uh, that's called performance analysis. So maybe if we can, let's try to uh, fill that gap a bit and clarify, uh, you know, how do you define performance analysis and what are the different aspects of a soccer player's or team's performance that are the biggest priorities to, to analyze? Absolutely. I agree with everything that you've uh, mentioned. And basically performance analysis is in the actual title, essentially, it's the analysis of performance. Uh, but we're talking about the context of soccer or football. And essentially, the way I view performance analysis, it's a very wide spectrum. Uh, traditionally, it's based on notational analysis and video analysis. But honestly, uh, essentially, performance analysis is what, I guess, a sports scientist does. So this could be from a physical perspective using tracking technology. This could be from a biomechanistic perspective, how to en enhance running economy and analyzing their movement. This is done from the <clears throat> mathematical and statistics perspective based on probability um, and tactical analysis. This can be done from a wellness perspective. I have a lot of my colleagues are involved in sleep analysis, wellness, uh, nutrition. And so it's a very broad spectrum of what you are actually analyzing in terms of performance. Um, but it is flexible and it is all encompassing. Um, and yes, I mean, with, with a lot of coaches, they see a glimpse of what the top teams are doing, but really, first of all, a lot of teams are very, uh, they don't publish or discuss what they're doing. Uh, but at the same time, when, when we're watching, uh, the champions league, as you mentioned, I mean, only within the last five, 10 years, do we actually see the amount of kilometers a player has run. And so Performance analysis doesn't necessarily have to be um, probability in mathematics and computational analysis. It could just be as simple as uh, keeping a record of the match. In Thank you for watching this short preview video from the National Soccer Coaches Association of Canada. To see the full video, plus have access to hundreds of other coaching videos, blogs, webinars, and podcasts, plus free and discounted coach education courses and other soccer merchandise, plus to have exclusive access 
To register for all future NSCAC conventions, both live and online, click on the link below to become a member of the NSCAC today. Also, please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as your continued support allows us to continue to provide coach education and coach development resources to soccer coaches across Canada and worldwide. Thank you again for your continued support and we look forward to seeing you at future NSCAC events.